And before we wrap this up, can you talk about what is your long-term vision when it comes to V cluster and Kubernetes multi-tenancy? I think for us, it's really, you know, covering the entire spectrum of tenancy, all the way from soft multi-tenancy as close and as lightweight as a namespace, all the way to, you know, as heavyweight, the most resilient HA type Kubernetes cluster you can imagine that runs in single tenant mode. We want to cover the entire spectrum. And vCluster is the foundation for all of this, but there's adjacent technologies you need around this. For example, vNode to, you know, get you this node level isolation if you are more on the hard side of multi-tenancy, but you still want to run multi-tenant clusters of shared nodes. Uh, vNode is a great addition um, that you can, that complements uh, vCluster. And we think there will be other, you know, adjacent things around vCluster, but vCluster is really the central component. So that's why we decided the company just needs to be named after this, this really essential central piece. It's quite clear after listening to Lucas that private nodes aren't just another feature. They are opening the door for new kinds of workloads and stronger guarantees around isolation in Kubernetes. Lucas, thank you so much, not only for developing these technologies, but actually for walking us through this launch. Thank you for your time today, and I look forward to our next discussion. Awesome, thanks for your time.